it would be the same street. Hi folks, if you're watching, we're in Medford, Oregon, at Oregon District 2 Indivisible Weekly Trump Tuesday Rallies. This, the theme of this week is Where's Walden? And you can see from our tagline why it's important for us that Greg Walden holds a town hall in our town. So this is where we meet every Tuesday and it's at the Jackson County Courthouse and it's a beautiful building as you see. We're just about to get underway and so I'm going to bring you down and I'm going to actually come around to the steps so you can see our entire crowd. Oh, I have watchers out there. Are you serious? <laughs> That's amazing. So I'm going to walk through the crowd and I'm going to ask a couple people why they come every week. Hey. Hi. Can you tell me your first name? My name's Leslie. Katie Cove, Oregon. Hey. So um, do you live in Jackson County? I do. I've been here about five and a half years. And pull the sign away for a second so we can see your whole face. I love it. So how long How long have you lived here? About five and a half years. Uh-huh. And do you come every week? Is this your first time? No, I come every week. I went wow. to the Women's March. It was my first march. Was that the, the march that happened in Ashland? Yeah, the Ashland. It was. So what did it feel like to be part of that march that was happening all Very across? Very inspiring, and it felt really good to see other people that felt the same way I do, that are concerned about our, our great country, which is great, and want to keep it great. I feel it's going down the wrong path, and I'm really scared for, for America. So I see your sign, and it says, Where's Walden? And of course, that's the theme of our um, our rally today. So, tell me what it would mean to you to have him hold a town hall here. Uh, that he cares about his constituents, not just the little tiny rural towns. I live in a small rural town myself that's mostly red. Yeah, um, but I would like him to listen to all his constituents. I think we should all have an equal voice. Yeah, I heard that he had town halls, you know, in northeast Oregon, but that that is 400 miles away from where we live. So you're just saying you want him to hold one here. Exactly. Well, thanks for being here every week, and I'm going to run around and find some more folks. Thanks so much. So I'm going to move through the crowd. I'm going to talk to a young lady in an in a orange vest. Hi. Can you, can you tell me your first name? My name's Pam. Hey, Pam. So what's the orange vest for today? We're actually helping, I hate to say crowd control, but just we're helping to facilitate the, um, the march to Walden's office. Okay. So we're here to help keep all of our participants together in harmony, um, really making sure that they're you know, safe when they're crossing the streets, that we're not in the way of businesses or traffic, and just trying to do a really sort of peaceable approach to our march together as one. And so we... Uh, I know that we talk to law enforcement every week and make sure that we're working with law enforcement to be sure that we're obeying laws sure, sure. and that we're all safe. Right, and appropriate permits and just we're making sure again that we are working in tandem um, with you know, the appropriate rules and regulations and really just wanted to do this in a peaceful and a harmonious way. Well, thanks for coming out. And you come out every week or is this your... Um, you know, I do. Generally, I come out every week unless I am uh, out of town. So. And what's, what's your day job? What do you do? You know, I'm an HR consultant. Oh, wow. Um, so I have a little bit more flexibility, sort of semi retired than I can actually participate. And you're a real person. Feeling. Nobody's paying you no, to be here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not at all. Glad to hear that. I think Thanks everybody so wants to know that. Thanks. Thank you. We need more help, for sure. We need more help. That's Thank right. You. Moving through the crowd again. Let's see. She's ready for me. I'm going to come to you guys. Hey, guys. Hi. Is this going to be great? <laughs> you are on live stream. I know. Okay, good. <laughs> so, oh, no, I, I got, I had a story that was written by the Daily Coast, yeah. So I like your sign. Tell me about what's on your sign. Um, well, it's about the importance of freedom of the press. Uh, and it, it relates to the reason I have this sign today is because of the attacks, um, the vicious attacks being made by President Trump on the press, which uh, really undermine, those are attacks on all of us, not just the press, because we depend upon the press for information and that's the buttress of our freedom. 
in this country. And that's why I think it's an essential firewall uh, for us. Without that, we're all vulnerable to the manipulation of this administration. So without the press, we're really vulnerable to that manipulation? Yes, Okay. Exactly. And they're really a pinnacle of our democracy. Right. There are several freedoms, but we, we just rely so, we're so dependent upon the press for the information. They're, they are the medium through which we get governmental information. And, uh, so and, I, it's just and they're protected in our Constitution. Absolutely, yeah. So it's just outlandish it's, that they would be under attack like this. And it just raises a lot of questions about the motivation of this administration. Do you know, I have to say I appreciate that because that's a super hot button issue for me. So I really like your sign. Thanks Thank for you. coming out. I yeah. know it's not your first time because I've seen you here before. I'm here all the time. I love it. Yeah. And who's this young lady with you? Oh, Somebody um, I just met. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your first name. Uh, Diane. Diane, what brings you out here every um, week? To support the Affordable Care Act because I don't want to see it repealed. Or if it's repealed, I at least want to have what we have currently. But I also want to make it affordable for everyone because I think that's been a, that's been an issue yeah. and been a drawback for the other side. And so, um, what do you do in your day in your day job? Do you have a job? Oh, I'm retired. You RN. are retired. <laughs> and what are you retired? Um, I'm a retired RN from um, Asante. Oh, you are. Yes. Okay. Well, I know that as a nurse, you would really care about the ACA and about people's health care. Yes, definitely. So the theme of our rally today, and for all of our listeners in there, we're in Medford, Oregon, and this is our weekly Trump Tuesday rally. This week's rally theme is Where's Walden? Because Greg Walden is our Republican congressman, and we haven't seen him here for a town hall in a long, long, long time. So what we're here today is to ask him to hold a town hall. How do you, how, if Greg Walden were here, what would you ask him? Um, I would ask him um, what his stance is on the Affordable Care Act and what he intends to do because he has the power in Congress. He's, you know, he's been there for a long time. And I would like him to um, support the people who are at risk now for losing their health care. I think there's um, a large number in Oregon who are, um, are dependent on it. Dependent yeah. on the Affordable Care Act. Dependent. And you've probably, as a nurse, seen a lot of ACA success stories. Oh, definitely, because a lot of people you know, came to us who were sick than yes. we expected. And I think um, I don't, I don't think the administration was prepared for that. Exactly. And so I, this is why we need everyone to come and play a small part so that we can have everyone have some basic health care. Thank you. I'm glad to see you every week. I've seen you here before, too. So I'm going to show everybody our sign because it says on our sign who we are. So we're Oregon District 2 Indivisible. And like I said, we come here every Tuesday to this beautiful building, which is the Jackson County Courthouse. And I see the, flag, the flags flying above. Uh, for the great state of Oregon and then the United States of America. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up these steps. I'm going to be a little cautious here as I'm coming up the courthouse steps because I want to show you the crowd that's assembled today. So this is the crowd here today. And, you know, it was supposed to rain. We're so glad it's actually not raining today. Um, and we usually have upwards of 200 people. And so um, this is a great turnout today. We all, always have wonderful signs, I have to say. So I'm going to definitely try to highlight some of our signs. Uh, one thing I'm curious, is anybody out there watching from Resist Here Facebook page? Because I believe we sent them a, a text that said that we're live. So I would love anyone out there to, that's watching to please comment. And why don't you tell me where you're watching from? Because I'd really love to see. Um, some uh, some viewers out there, and if you have questions, uh, you can ask me, uh, whether it's a question for me or anybody in our crowd. I'm going to run through, um, so let's see, I can show you right there, that there's a guy in a blue jacket, and he's from a local television station, and he's here with us every week, which I am so happy to say <laughs> that he's with us. So. Um, and we are still streaming from our own Facebook page. Okay. I'm going to say that I um, think that uh, the text went to our buddies at Resist Here. So 
Let's see. Let's move through the crowd. I did, thank you. So this is one of our photographers that's here every week taking pictures. Tell me, tell me your name. I'm Dasha Dolan. Do I look at you or what you, do you I look do? right at the camera or you can look at me either okay, way? I'll look at you. Okay. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so we're we're super psyched about the pictures that you take every week. Thank They're you so beautiful. much. And it's a great, it's, uh, it's important for us to get those images out there into yeah. Facebook land and Absolutely. Twitter land. I want our people just blast it out and, uh, uh, you know, make sure that other people see it, family, friends, just get as many people as possible involved. And see what we're out there doing every week. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, the theme. Oh, Hello. Oh, I think the rally's about to start. So we're going to back off over here. Resist here. We're doing social media. You name it. We're doing it. We're organizing. But I want you to know some of you probably feel like you're in the dark about what we're doing. It's not by design. It's just that we're bringing people in. We're trying to match their passions and their background to the needs of the organization. And we're trying to build an organization. I myself, I'm working on strategic planning. That includes researching 501c4s and PACs and bylaws and board of directors and all that fun stuff. So just know that we're doing this. We're going to be completely transparent. All of your ideas that we hear on the discussion group on Facebook page, just know that your ideas, we've already used a lot of them and incorporated them. Like the idea today to go down to Trump's, uh, to, uh... <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, the idea to go down to uh, Walden's office and deliver letters demanding a town hall meeting came from one of you. The idea to put post-its on Walden's office So we are in Medford, Oregon at our Trump Tuesday rallies. This week's theme... And if you want to reach us, we now is Where's Walden, our Republican Congressman with, uh, Greg Walden, because we would really like for him to hold a town hall. But we got all that stuff. Um, I use a yellow legal pad and a pencil. That's, that's my computer. I would say this is pretty typical of the crowd that we see every week. We usually see about 200 people, usually. They all come carrying amazing signs. We're the Luddites team. Okay, so we've got a couple of people speaking today that can get you all fired up. I, I, uh, uh, enough about indivisible. I have one thing. We keep talking about affordable health care. We keep talking about town hall meetings because we're driving home the point. This is what Indivisible DC wants us to do. There's over 7,000 groups nationwide driving home those points and we're, we're getting results. They're on their heels now. They're backing up. They're refusing to have town hall meetings all over the country. So we're making, we're making headway in it. But I just want to take one minute and say something about Greg Walden. So he's been Ooh, let's tune in for that. The moderate. What kind of a moderate goes along with the Trump agenda? Yeah. yeah. What kind of a moderate 
did what he did yesterday and blocked along with the rest of the House investigating Trump's taxes. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing moderate about that. There's nothing moderate about Trump's agenda. It's radical. It's un-American. It's authoritarian. It's scary. Yeah. Greg Walden is walking hand in hand with Donald Trump. Well, that's all I got to say about Greg Walden. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the founders of uh, Indivisible ORD2 here in the Rogue Valley, my buddy Brett Levick. Yay! Yay, Brett! Okay, you guys, you're live from Medford. Oregon District 2, Indivisible. <laughs> All right, that thing was getting in my way. So I, I had a, uh, first of all, oh yeah, so where are they collecting letters? All right, these guys in the orange vests are collecting the letters that we're going to bring over to uh, Walden's place. So I, I had a, a couple things to tell you uh, about Walden. Um, first of all, our president shows no interest in upholding our Constitution. Yeah. He has no clue how the branches of government work. No, that's true. He has no clue where his authority ends. No, no. We've put a nine-year-old narcissist with ADHD in the White House. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hold back, Brad. Don't hold back. And our Congressman Walden is okay with that. Yes. Trump used the executive branch's power to inflict arbitrary cruelty on thousands of Muslims yeah. and screwed up our di diplomatic relations with the rest of the world and Walden agrees with him. Yeah. And when his buddy Flynn was exposed for lying about the calls to Russia during the campaign, Trump said the press was the enemy of the American people. Yeah. Yeah. And Walden has no problem with that. That's our congressman. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear it! Let me hear you say that's not okay! Yeah, even the dog thinks so. <laughs> Furthermore, so our so-called president declared the court system a threat to national uh, to national security, and Walden doesn't mind that. Let's go! Shut up! Time after time, the president has put the world at risk by alienating our allies and cozying up to, the, to Russia. And Walden is cool with that, too. We have a president who appoints racists, xenophobes, climate deniers, and incompetent billionaires to high-level cabinets. Yeah. And Walden is all right with that, too. Drain the swamp! The president views two-thirds of his citizens as, and anybody else who disagrees with him as enemies. Yeah. And Walden seems to agree with that, too. Yeah. Trump refuses to call out hate groups and is allowing them to terrorize his citizens unchallenged. And where's Walden on that? Where is Walden? The president has refused to show his taxes or divest from his interests and is blatantly profiting from his presidency. And that too is okay with Walden. Yeah. 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 It's clear to me that this administration's goal is not to stop terrorism or immigration, but to halt the dilution of the white Christian population in the U.S. Any historian, poli-sci poli expert, or person paying attention will tell you that we are witnessing the early stages of an authoritarian regime here. Yes! yes. yes. World War II! Right. Hitler! Just like Hitler! Just like the Nazis. Yes. Our real president, Steve Bannon, and his narcissistic puppet have to be called out and stopped before the entire world is destabilized. I'm Jewish! Or worse, because they're infinitely <laughs> more too. dangerous than the people they're scapegoating. Yeah. 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 Make no mistake, cowardly and greedy representatives like Greg Walden, who are happy to sit by and watch Trump and Bannon drive our country over the cliff, who put party interest over country, are traitors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! yes. yes.
they will all need to be removed from office, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hand this over to Liz, but I want to remind you that they are not America. We are America. their signs. This, I would love uh, to see them. This wonderful lady, Kristen, will be walking around and uh, interviewing you so you can uh, tell them what you think about Greg Walden and the world will be listening. <laughs> uh, the meeting on the 26th is here in Medford, I'm told to uh, remind At what time? You. What time? What time? It's 2 o'clock. Okay. Okay. All right. At, on the 26th. All that information is on our website. Uh, ORD2Indivisible.org and also on our Facebook page which is uh, on the banner. It's gone. <laughs> anyway. Can we start a chant? Where's Walden? Uh, we're going to head over to uh, Walden's and uh, feel free to start chants. I think about 25 of us are going to walk these, uh, these notes into his office. All of this will be live streamed and uh, See what happens. I, I now have 18 viewers. What I'd love for you guys to do before we start walking, can you chant and tell me that you'd like to see Greg Walden here? Okay, so let's say, where's Walden? Okay. Where's Walden? 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 Where
Try to stay off the streets because uh, I think they're allowed to hit you now. <laughs> Be safe and courteous, and uh, let's go pay him a visit. We're going down uh, Main Street, I believe. Follow the people in the yellow uh, jackets. Okay, let's move out into the crowd. I'm going to find some signs that I'd love to see on the live stream. Hey folks, I'm going to try to back up so I can get your beautiful signs in. So I see that you're saying the ACA is working. Yes. Okay, so tell me, tell me what's important to you about the ACA and that if Greg Walden were here, what you would say. It's, it's working for a lot of people and for them to just throw it away without having something in place to begin with, that's just irresponsible. They have to have another plan at least floated out there before they even consider throwing away the plan that they have, which works for many, many thousands. people. Yeah. Thousands, thousands and hundreds thousands of thousands, people. millions of people yeah. it's working for. It's yes. Millions. So, a, yeah, so totally put, it, put it, if you want another one, then put it in place first. Don't talk about throwing what you have away. Plus, there's a huge number of jobs that are created in healthcare. That are created created in healthcare. healthcare. And if you dump that, then you put instability in the system. And lots of those people who are getting well-paid jobs, they start worrying about whether they're going to have a job in the future. And so then you don't have all of the people that you need for an effective healthcare system. So it's not just the people who, who need health care, it's all those jobs that are related to it. Thank you Thank for you. telling me that. And I love, let's show the people your sign. So your sign is all about that we haven't seen Greg Walden here for a town hall. Well, Greg Walden hasn't been in Medford since, for a town hall since 2015. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I put out a um, That's a, a long story. time. I put out a story uh, called Where's Walden? And it's basically asking, you know, this is irresponsible of him to avoid us the way he's doing. And to not lis listen to yeah, he's, constituent he's voices. Yeah, he's avoiding us like the plague, and we are his voting constituents. He needs to listen to us. He needs to have a town hall. He needs to understand our concerns. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you. So we're in Medford, Oregon at our weekly town hall. We do it every Tuesday for Trump Tuesday. We usually have about 200 people that show up for these town halls. Today's theme is Where's Walden? We'd really like Greg Walden to hold a town hall during the current recess. It's also called a district work period. The reason why it's called that is because Elected members one of the two most populous areas, populated areas in Oregon. Medford and Bend, Oregon, shout out to Bend, comprise 53% of Greg Walden's constituency. That's a lot of people to actually not listen to or to not provide a town hall for. That's what we're here today. And we're trying to get a lot more attention to the fact that he hasn't held a town hall here in about two years. And in today's current political climate, that's an eternity. So I'm following behind a lady who is carrying a sign. Could I see your sign that you're holding? I like it. This is our theme this week, so that's a great sign. I would love to see the other side. Oh, you, so that's the one you bring every week, probably. What's your first name? Candace. Candace. Mm -hmm. Do you come every week? I do. Okay. And I'm glad to be here among those who are joining in the resistance to Trump and his agenda of idiots. <laughs> what, what, what does democracy mean to you? Thank you. 
Thank you. Hey, this is one of our photographers that comes every week. <laughs> Tell me your name. And you, you come here most every week, I think, right? And it's, and it's because of you that we get great pictures out and our images of what we do every week. <laughs> and you're, re you're not being paid for this. Let's clarify that. No, gosh no. Yeah. I don't think anybody here is getting paid. Yeah, it's really interesting that we're hearing that from our elected. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm glad you got us. Oh, is this Greg Walden? And he will be answering questions as best he can. Wow. Just like he does now. Current state? Okay. I'm, hey. I'll see you at the podium. Okay. Hey, thanks for bringing a, a pseudo Greg Walden. We would really love to see you. Representative Walden, please come and hold a town hall in the Medford area. Thanks for bringing that. What? It looks heavy. Are you doing good carrying that? <laughs> good for you. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Greg Walden. So I'm following a, another great sign. So Greg Walden. Yeah, we're getting a question about him playing golf. You know, we don't really know where he's at. Um, but we'd certainly love to see him Where's hold Walden? a town hall in Medford. Where's it is, Walden? after all, considered a, a district work period, which means Where's that they should be out Walden? in their constituency, in their communities, Where's talking Walden? to people like this. Come on out, Greg, we won't fight. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> My hat. Thank you. I got it from the Women's March from Flipside. So we've got a few more viewers. Tell me your first names. Yeah. yeah do you guys come every week? Yes. Oh, and what does it feel? What does it feel like to participate in these? So it sounds like you would encourage others to do the same. Oh, yeah. We need to exponentially increase our numbers here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Even though at least a couple hundred people show up every week, it seems like to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, we heard that they, ex they had a triple turnout from what they expected. That's what I heard. Yeah. So what's... What's the thing that has you the most worried that's happening in Washington right now? Bannon. Bannon? So, Bannon? so that's Steve Bannon? Where's yeah. Walden? I think most of the nominees. Where's Walden? Yeah. I think they have their own agenda. Everything Where's is Walden? Uh, but Bannon scares me. Where's Walden? The immigration is a real problem. Where's Walden? Social Security. Woo! Healthcare is a human right. I see that sign. So we're walking around the streets of Medford, Oregon, like we do every week. Oh, good. We've got a traffic monitor. We you know we really thank you. We, we thank you for doing this job every week to help keep us safe. Let's see. <laughs> well, it's the truth. It's a sad but true. Tell me your name. I'm Larry. Larry, do you come out every week? This is my first, first time. First Your time. You're a first timer. I'm a newbie. Oh, I'm excited to see you here. So, uh, what brings you out today? My wife. Is this your wife? Yes, it is. <laughs> she, she. <laughs> what, what matters to you most about what's happening right now? I'm 
I'm afraid I can't go there. I, I just ram, ramble on and I... So you're not... You, I'm not in favor of Trump, shall we say. Well, that's a, like fair enough. I know that not everybody <laughs> agrees with him. They think so. And it sounds like you'd like, do you just like your voice to be heard on that? Well, yeah, I would. That's kind of why you're out here today? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm really glad you, thanks for helping on the live stream. <laughs> I better run ahead here. Woo! So this is a shout out to Rogue Indivisible. I see your vest. You guys had a meeting. Yes. You had a meeting, was it Saturday or Sunday? Okay. Sunday. And you had a triple turnout from what you expected. Absolutely. Is that true? Yes. Awesome. And more people saying they're going to come to the next one. So what, what makes that interesting considering the location of Grants Pass? Is it is it kind of a red area? So this was significant, right? That you had such a big turnout? That's so awesome, yeah. The care a lot about what's going on. So would you like to see... So, so you'd like to see Greg Walden show up and hold a town hall during the recess? It's considered a district work period. Yeah, exactly. So, do I have any questions out there from viewers? So, I'm catching up to the front of the pack, I would say. Hey, what's your name? I'm Alan McCarthy. Thanks for being here. Is this your first time? Uh, no, but I'm really happy to be here in support of the movement. I'm glad. Indivisible. Indivisible. Excuse me. Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Yeah. Hello! Thanks for taking our pictures every week. So we're getting a lot closer to Greg Walden's office. Again, for everyone out there, we're in Medford, Oregon, at our Trump Where's Tuesday Walden? rally. Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Where's Walden? Every week, we have at least a couple hundred people show up. Where's Walden? So, a lot of passionate people out here today, just trying to get a word in edgewise to Greg Walden. Am I right? Keep You're our right. public, keep yeah. our public lands. Here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Walden? 
we're getting close to Greg Walden's office where we're going to deliver invitations to hold a town hall right here in Medford. Hello. I'm here. So, so this, this is Oregon. The circle is where we are. This square is where Greg Walden held town halls. It's 400 miles away, 400 miles away from Medford. And I might add that those those town halls were surprise town halls at that. So this distance is six hours one way and it's 12 hours round trip. That's an awfully long way away to be from your constituency. One of your more populous, most, um, one of your more populated areas of Oregon, Greg Walden. We would really like to please invite you, please ask you to organize a town hall and advertise it ahead of time. We would really appreciate that. In Medford, and we held our we're holding our rally. We marched from the courthouse all the way to Greg Walden's office, and we're here. Another supporter, honking. We get a lot of honkers every week. Let's see. Ooh, I like this sign. I like that one a lot. Nicely done. So. Looks like you'd like to see Greg Walden here. Okay, good enough. It is a district work period after all. It is. It's another name for recess. Yep. Okay. Which it's not, yeah. 
I think something, and something that I find interesting is that I, we get various answers on when he last held a town hall here, which makes me think that nobody can really remember it's been that long. Am I right? Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I just need to get these skills. Yes, I'm right here. Okay, I'm, excuse me. Can I squeeze through, guys? Hold on, hold on. Do your job! Do your job! Do your job! Do your job! It's going first and do your job! Excuse me, sorry. I will. Here we are. I'm going to have somebody open my door. Hold on. How are you doing? Hello. Good, how are you doing? Good. My name is Brett Levick. Yep, from we missed both. Yeah, yeah, we did. Before. Nice to meet you. So, I'm bringing, uh, I think, hundreds of letters from uh, okay. Greg Walton's constituents asking him for a, uh, asking him for a town hall. Okay. And, uh, do you want me to dump them out, or do you want to just grab a table? Um, do you have any idea if he's planning on holding a, uh, local uh, town hall in Jackson or Josephine County. So, as he told you during the video conference here a couple weeks ago, uh, we are going to hold a town hall in Jackson County. He's going to hold a town hall in every single county Where this is year. going to be in Josephine County, please? Ma'am, I can't give you that information. We are still working on his schedule. He will have a town hall in Josephine County. He will have a town hall in Jackson County. Can you tell us when he last was in Josephine County, please? For a public open meeting? Uh, very recently here, ma'am. Just before, the, for a, just before the first of the year. Yeah. A town hall? Ma'am, I don't have that information at the top of my head. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would love to know when that was, if it was an open announced meeting. Uh, every every meeting that he's had over there is open that announced. Okay. And it was at a rotary? Or hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, one at a time. Okay. Okay. So. I have a question. Um, so this is considered a district work period, which is another name for recess. So can you tell me what that means to you? What is a district work period? A district work period is when the congressman comes back to the district. He has meetings, whether they be recently requested meetings or long-standing meetings and he's finally being able to fulfill those? I think that our impression of a, of a town hall, like of, okay. of actually being in the district to work in the district, yeah. would be listening to his constituency by actually holding a town hall. Um, it's he's been... holding a town hall in Ontario this afternoon. Maybe. Ontario. Yes. Mm -hmm. was that announced? How far away is that? Why don't you tell our viewers where that is? That's clear miles. across the state. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. So, couldn't probably get further away from where we are now. Is that true? Is well, that? Well, he does represent that area. Well, so sure. He shows up there quite a bit. Actually, no, he hasn't been out to Eastern Oregon. He shows up everywhere but Jackson. County. I mean, let's that's call not, it what it is. No, it actually true. is true. No, that's not When's true. the last time he was in Jackson County? We for a town record. hall. For a town hall. 2015. Yeah. No, ma'am. Wow. He had a town hall here. A town hall in Rogue River last April. So almost a year, but which so I would say that that's kind of an eternity in politics today. Would okay. you agree with that? No, ma'am, I would not. Okay. I, I, I find it very funny that the senators can hold one meeting in each of their counties, and you all don't put them on hold for it or put them on record for it. They're hearing us. But that's fine, and the congressman hears you as well. But he holds a town hall in every single one of his counties every year. How far in advance are those um, uh, announced? Where are they posted? Oh. How far in advance? The question is how far in advance. Is it in the newsletter? So sometimes it's in the newsletter. We do let the press know every single time he's holding one of those. So they're usually put out about a week in advance, and we let the press know, and they run with them. And if you sign up for a telephone uh, yes. one, how come you don't get called? So... There was a minor problem where some people that signed up this last time around did not get a call. It was less than uh, 100 people that we have records of that did not get called. So there were some issues with both the vendor um, on them calling. 
some technical stuff on the issue, but it's also that they were probably late signers. I do know that uh, we did take some information from the Indivisible Group a couple weeks ago. They gave us a list of those people uh, who reported that they did not receive calls. Our office had to reach out to them and apologize to them and let them know that for the next telephone town hall they will receive calls. Are, are those questions for the telephone town hall screened? Everyone who comes in is mm -hmm. screened. Okay. So everyone who's called has the opportunity to ask a question. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the telephone town halls may have a particular theme in mind, uh -huh. depending on certain legislation that is moving forward. Well, I guess um, I, I heard that telephone town halls are a way to really craft the message that our elected members want to get out. That's not true, no. Uh, I think it's pretty well known, actually. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty I sure. I would to disagree. Well, I, I, I think you'd be wrong. Okay. I mean, respectfully, I'm sorry, but I think you'd be wrong. The, I think one well, question. I agree with you. Then we'd both be wrong. Well, <laughs> the a question I have to. Sorry. Well, so I, I guess I'm wondering this: is that if Greg Walden can hold five town halls in three days mm -hmm. in northeastern Oregon, which is six hours away from here, mm -hmm. I'm just wondering why he couldn't hold a re hold a town hall right here in a very populous area during the recess. Why would that we be? Have numerous recesses, man. So. When we look to put together a swing for the congressman, he has issues that he's hearing from constituents on the ground. It may require his, his direct attention. It may be that he's not been to a particular area in a while. But, so there's any number of reasons. I'm not going to go through our reasoning as to how we put him on the ground. Okay, I understand. But you, you understand that the, the optics of this to everybody here okay. are that he's avoiding us. He's not avoiding it. Well, he is. Okay, so that's so what, that's no, what no, 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 he's not. So... He, he has met with, with Indivisible yeah, in on a video small, conference, right. but we so we agreed, to continue. We, we agreed to continue working. with those meetings. He also agreed to, to let <coughs> you know when he was going to hold a town hall down here. We've not got to that point yet in the schedule. Okay. When we do, we'll let you know. So when, you when they like. were sure. here, when Indivisible was here, yeah. um, the office had said that he's going to do something this year yes. in, yes. in Jackson County. Yes. And it's only February. Yes. So we would really like to know and want him to make this an urgency. Yes. And it will, it will there's be a lot of constituents of that really want to see him <coughs> sure. as soon as possible. We don't want to hear, well, it's going to be this year when we're in February. <laughs> we really want to know when. He Un can unlike the Senate to... schedules, which are a bit more set, um, the, the House tends to be a bit more in flux. So the Senate schedule, and they've done this for years, where they've been able to at the end of the year say that they're going to hold meetings. They'll know what they're doing for June. We, we can't do that. So it's a, it's a bit more difficult. So it's a bit more on the floor. So what, what do you think, um, when, he did, when he knows when he's coming to Jackson County, how, what's going to be, you know, when will we know after he knows? <laughs> after, after we've had an opportunity to go through, set the schedule, determine the locations, and, and not at the country club, put it out. within like two weeks or a, you know, like how long will we know that he's coming? When will we know? Okay. Yeah. And big so, enough venue to allow for thousands of people to be there. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I would like plenty of advance notice, and obviously there's pent-up demand in Southern Oregon, so okay. I honestly believe there should be a series of town halls. I should, there yes. should be one. Yeah, Denver, good idea. One <coughs> South. I live out in the Applegate. Come out to the Applegate or Williams or Roosh and hold one out there. Okay. We need we need a series of them because people are frustrated and we want to be heard. Okay. Uh, well, you know, so when, I would like you to just stick your head out the door and see how many people are there. This is just I don't a need small to. group. I don't need to. I just yes, really want I think it's kind of, if you're all we've got, I mean. I'm not afraid of any. So I've been open and honest and met with you all and talked to you on the phone. I'm not ignoring anyone. Nor is the congressman. Well, he is. We are your, uh, we, pay, we pay your salaries. Why are you being so defensive? Not well, at all. you know, it's not unreasonable to go out there and just announce to people we will be scheduling a town hall. We within will get the next 30 within days. the next X I'm not going to give you a time frame. The congressman, well, it's been since 2015. Back, he's not going to make no, no man. Okay, the where's Walden? 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 Where
Wait a minute. I want to know who's the last town hall in Medford or Grants Pass. Last time I forget his name. Ryan. Ryan. So is there somebody that can go out there if you don't want to? At least acknowledge the people. You want me to walk out there and acknowledge? That's fine. That's a that kind of be a nice thing. Right. I'm gonna. I'm going to deliver these to the Congress. We want that. What we'd like is for them to hear from you your word that oh. Greg Walden is going to be holding the town hall. Soon. Sooner. Yeah. yeah. Within, I'm not going to do that for you. I'm not going to do that. Well, that's because okay. he won't do it. With all that's why respect, respect, sir, <laughs> we have never seen a dismantling of the government on such a quick schedule oh, without debate in Congress yeah. ever yeah. in the history of my life, which is many, many years. Yeah. This is a fast track and we know it. People are afraid. Scared. They're very scared and it's going very quickly and it's not being discussed. There's no bipartisan discussion. There's no debate. If, under these circumstances and with this scorched earth strategy, it is important for the congressman and his staff to show respect the con to the constituents who are understandably afraid and concerned. And we've, we've been very respectful. We've had some good conversations with them. voting against us, though. So. Yes, once they get their hands on the we need a meeting quickly. Sir, this is about democracy. With respect, not about power. I have a nephew who is a United States Marine. Okay, I'm a Marine. Yes, he, has been, he is now on his fourth tour. Okay. He's just turned in his papers to leave the Marines. Okay. That is after 12 years. You know what it means to step out after 12 years? Yeah, He's eight years away from retirement. Okay. That is the president that we're under. We're okay. under a lunatic. We Amen. have who is, who is destroying our alliances. Just this weekend, we have some people over in Europe trying to calm people down over there. And what I heard on on, uh, on the news was the Europeans saying, this doesn't begin to cut it because there's been so many surprising and quite frankly disturbing things said. We have a president, and if you will only read the Slate article, which detailed the, the Russian hacking of the election, we want a do-over, frankly. This is not a legitimate presidency. This is... Uh, 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 act of war by the Russians. Walden supports and, Trump. And Russia is, uh, I mean, Walden is presently supporting the traitor in the White House who used, used the Russians to tip the election. Bloodless that, coup. Exactly. And, and we're, you know, he came in saying he was going to be uh, taking care of, of uh, Wall Street. And uh, all of a sudden, we've got all these Wall Street uh, mobsters. Walden supports the council. Yeah. Sir, you're, I recognize the difficult position you're in. You have to represent someone who is afraid to meet with his constituents. He's you have, to well, he has a he, he clearly, he's chosen he clearly his is. No, he's not. Well, it's a very yeah, reasonable yeah. interpretation. We're, we're, the okay, congressman me, is going to get down here, and he is going to hold a town hall. But, you but I'm not gonna, no, I'm not going to give you a date. I'm not going to give you a date. I don't want a date, sir, but I want you to tell the Congressman. Is there a section of his district that is more populated than this one? Then? No, no, it's not. Well, he's not going there yet. He's hiding from us. He's hiding from us. A third of his district, and he goes to his remote place. He represents everyone. You may not like that, but he has 20 counties that he represents. But he's not one of them. He's not avoiding them. He's not a boy. He is not a boy. Sir, I understand what the is he doing during recess? Man, but say to your you boss, can keep saying that. But here's sir, the, no, no, you listen, listen to me. Listen to me. The congressman met with Indivisible two weeks ago in a video conference. They asked him to set a date for a town hall. He's not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. What I will tell you is that the congressman will hold a town hall. Yeah, that's not good enough. No, 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 no. Will we no, still have democracy when it happens? Will we still have democracy It will be, it will be sooner. It will be sooner rather than later, but I cannot give you a It's not good enough. Okay, okay. I appreciate yeah, that. Can we ask you this? Not good enough. This is recess. We can't even get through his phone. Go to the Congress and tell him that it's essential for him to come here and meet with people. Indivisible is willing to help him find a large point to meet we will be respectful. I guarantee you, if I'm there, we will be respectful. All of us. I'm not guaranteeing that. No way. Okay. We will. But it needs to be seen. I have seen I in the past two weeks on the Kevin McCarthy report, he's a legislator in California, he proudly announces every week the number of things that are being brought down, repealed, made dysfunctional 
So we're in Greg, Congressman Greg, Greg Walden's town, uh, Cong Congressman Greg Walden's office in Medford, Oregon. We held a Trump Tuesday rally that led us to his office. We're really pleading with him to please hold a town hall locally in Medford. Right now, he's speaking to the Grand Okay. I would like some reassurance Can that the Republican the Party hasn't become the Russian Party. I would like some reassurance on that. I would like the congressman to speak to that point. Hold, hold on. Can we see a schedule Wait, of where schedule? is he's going to be this week? That I would happily like drive to the Grand. Yeah. Could you tell me where he's going to be this week? The Grand is too late. He is in the Grand today. Uh -huh. He is in Ontario this evening. Okay. And after that, he has other national commitments that he has to do. Does that mean he's not on the website? Why is the schedule not on the website? I fear he's a coward. It, it should be. Public meetings are put out, okay? We, we put press releases out to the press, and they publicize them. As far as the remainder of his calendar, no, that's not public information. Why? I just, I just stated we put the public meetings out to the press. Okay, on your website. I'm happy to, I'm happy to relay that to DC. I, I sent an email asking about. Could you come out and tell all these people what you're telling us? There are a lot of people out there who like to hear that. That would be appreciated if you could tell everyone. Please show respect. I can just tell you that what it looks like to us is that. Greg Walden has sold out to the traitor that is Donald Trump, and he doesn't want to face us Amen. with that. Yeah. And yeah. until he comes and proves otherwise, and talks to us and reassures us, tells the people who are scared that they're going to lose their health care, that their country's going down, that there's going to be nuclear war, that any number of things, that's what people are thinking about him. And it's his job to come and tell us differently. Look, look our, country, in the, our country, the people are sovereign. That means we the people, democracy, the people rule. He can't rule if he doesn't talk to us. Yes, we need discussions left, right, and center, and we need to be able to do that in a rational and deep in a way, because we're a diverse culture. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But our representative has to talk to us. Which Otherwise, you don't have a representative of democracy. Of the so, Good so point. I, I hope that right that. Line. He's not a dumb man. He's, he can be, you know, he needs to represent us. Voices on all sides. That's how we get to some kind of policy that makes sense. Right now, we have an immature, totally focused narcissist who doesn't understand. But it, yes, I'm a registered voter. You bet. <laughs> and uh, and he's, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's destroying institutions that are critical to our society. So, so come outside. Please, we please come outside to see the size of the crowd. Can we make room so, so we can go out and have a little bit more fast? Please clear the way. Yeah. Not so much yeah. of a king yeah. or a king. Please clear the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 He's here. Oh, he is coming out. Well, let's see. Excuse me. Now half the people are gone. We app we appreciate you coming out. On the other side. Yeah. Um, we you know, I don't view this as a partisan issue. I think the representative needs to get behind investigation of the traitor in the White House. We have never had this situation before. America is in danger. There is nobody more loyal than I am. Imagine that he went three times to Iran and then signed up for a choice to go to Iraq. And Iraq once to Afghanistan and now he's on Bahrain floating around with the Navy. Why would a person that dedicated quit? Do you think it's because he's a Democrat or because he's an idiot? No, it's because he's, he's, a, he's been taken over by a traitor who would be dictator. You know, a person who tells the press that they're the enemy of the people. We're the people. We get to decide who our enemies are. And he's our enemy.
He's trying to destroy the Constitution. And you yourself, you told me you're a Marine. So I know that you took an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I say, stand up and honor your oath and stand up against that president and tell, tell the representative to please stand up against this president. If you want to see the Republican Party, if the Republican Party is what you care about, just can go down and claim if you stand by a man who will sooner or later truth out. I truly believe that in my heart. Sooner or later, truth out. He will go down in infamy. He will be worse than Benedict Arnold. And right now, the congressman has got his arms around him and is kissing him on the goddamn lips. <laughs> That's what we see. He has not taken a single verbal stand against the, the abomination that's sitting in the White House. And that's what I should say. And I don't mean anything against you or yours. And we'll part friends. But please carry that message. Woo! Well done. Yeah. All right, so Troy's going to... I have a question. Yes. Does Greg Walden have an independent no. mind? Will he ever yeah, vote? Good question. For instance, does he care about the, the uh, uh, National Endowment for the Arts? Does he care about NPR? I mean, how can that be defunded? And that, science. That's something that this, EPA, this administration EPA. wants to defund? Well, I, I, think that's, I think that's a valid well, question. How do I know yeah. what this man believes? I think the, I think I can answer that a little bit, and here, I can't answer for him. But but all we have to look at without him coming to see us would be his voting record. Am, am I right? No, I want okay. to know what's coming up. What's well, what's well, his. I think it's important to to talk about the voting record. Right. So, with, with regard to any proposal by the administration so far on the budget, it's, it's just that there's nothing hard, there's nothing submitted to Congress. And just because the administration submits their budget, the House takes up their own budget. So the administration, no matter who it is, their budget documents clearly a guideline to what they want. Congress will do as it sees fit. Okay, so is there anywhere I can go on his website that says what he stands for? Other than he, has a, he has an issues page, has major okay. issues, it doesn't have everything. What I would tell you, let me get your contact uh, info. If you want a particular response on like APR or other funding, and these are most important, I'm happy to get a reply from And the EPA, science. Excuse me, I want to get in there. There's a whole lot of issues Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Back up for you. What he really stands for somebody. We Water. Yeah, what about? What is it thinking about the EPA? Hey, bro. Troy, I'll stick with you. I'd like to ask a question. My name is Mayor Jarvis Griffin from Calvin. Nice to meet you. I'd like to know what I need to do to get Okay. This, so, this is the this is the mayor of talent. So the congressman to the town hall, every single one of the counties that he represents. So we met with him this a couple weeks ago. We told him he was going to have a town hall. He assured me that they will have a town hall in Jackson County and Josephine County. It will be sooner rather than later. I cannot give you a date. So. Your offer to hold that in, in talent, yep. whether it's in town, whether it's in Ashland, whether it's in Medford, I can't say. <coughs> well, what I want to say is, I've had Wyden and Merkley there, and now I want to have Walden there. And okay. I just want to know what do I need to do to give him a commitment? So, all right, so I can count on you. Well, I'll, so I can give you a call. I'll pass that on. He has an eight. How many signatures would uh, uh, qualify for a yeah. town hall request? Yep. Right, thanks. There, there is no signature, there is no survey that you can submit we we have several different communities here in jackson county that we represent obviously last year we had a town hall in rogue river it all can right. all come okay it, uh, anyone in jackson can county I get can your come. Car? so uh, when was okay, that town hall my name is okay quiet guys quiet so april of last year hey so once a year is not enough for you to be served the senators hold them once a year. Yeah. So I'm not sure why you, you want to hold Representative Walden to the highest office. That's not what I said. <laughs> you, you, you want to hold your U.S. Senators and your U.S. Representatives to different standards when it comes to town halls. I don't think it's very fair. 
considering who's president and who Greg Walden is aligning to. So that's that's your opinion. No, and that's the all that's all that's all that's all that's all that's our opinion. opinion. That's his constituents. Brett, the senators have the whole state. We just want this district. We do. We do. Can, can I just shake your hand? What is your name? Again? Troy Ferguson from Greg Walden's office. Congressman. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think we're going to wrap up the live stream. I'm going to come out here. Um, they come out here. I think that's a good point to wrap it up. Uh, we just met with Troy. The um, I guess I don't want to flip it to me. <laughs> so let's let's just face the crowd while I talk. We'll do that. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this live stream from Medford, Oregon. Another supporter. Hello, supporter. Um, we hold two Trump Tuesday rallies every week. Uh, this week, our theme was Where's Walden? Um, he has many, many constituents that would like to per like to see him hold a town hall. Uh, during the recess, I think, is a reasonable thing. Um, that's why it's called a district work period. Uh, they're telling us that it's been, that it's been since April of last year, so we're almost at a year. So uh, if he's saying that he holds a town hall in each county yearly, then we're right up uh, where at the point where he does need to hold a town hall is what it sounds like to me. I think uh, the only other thing that I would say is uh, regarding Greg Walden's voting record. You heard a lot today about people that think that he's very aligned with Trump. I think that that is accurate because it's reflected in his voting record. I think that that's, that's where I was trying to get my word in edgewise about Greg Walden's voting record because that's how we know where he stands is through how he votes. And the way that he votes is actually 100% in line with Donald Trump's agenda. So then it would be sort of logical to conclude that um, the many things that you heard people saying today, which is they just feel like he's very aligned with Donald Trump. So I'm going to sign off. Thanks for all you guys that tuned in and watched us. Um, I don't know that we'll do this every week, but I think it was really good to do it today. So that we are, again, Oregon District 2 Indivisible. You can find us on our Facebook page or on Twitter, ORD2. Uh, and we're going to put out a lot of pictures of today, too. So thanks, guys.